Hi everyone, welcome. Today as I'm going to be showing you how to create a digital poster or infographic in Google Slides. So uh, I have a new slides presentation here. And the key here is you're only going to be using one slide. You're going to be making the slide bigger and zooming in to work closer on it. So I'm going to just keep a white background. Uh, you can absolutely choose a background image, uh, some kind of cool, maybe you choose a, a flag or a map or something. That can make kind of a neat background. Um, but you can, you want to be careful with that, um, not, especially if you're printing it out, um, not to choose something that's too dark because it could be distracting uh, from the rest of your poster. And also it's just going to be pretty uh, ink intensive if you're printing out a nice dark background. So. Keep it light, white, or um, you know something that's pretty easy to print. Uh, I am going to go to page setup just to show you how you can adjust the dimensions here. Uh, right now I've got it widescreen. I'm going to do custom, and we'll do we'll make it a lot bigger. So I'm going to go by uh, we'll say 25 by 25, and we'll make a square poster. Sure. Uh, but you can make it however you want. And now we're going to uh, insert a text box for a title. Maybe you already have one. And we'll call this, I'll just make one on the American Revolution. Now that's way too small. I'm going to hit Command A to select all. And then I'm going to make it much bigger. The American Revolution will make it even bigger. Okay. And of course you can change the font, make it different colors. I'd recommend kind of messing with that stuff. You can even do uh, word art, insert uh, word art if you want to. You can get pretty fancy with it, but I'm just gonna be showing you the basics here. Um, now, if we wanted to, let's say we wanna find a picture of George Washington. Uh, I'll search George Washington. And images. And I'm going to search for, I'm going to try this actually, George Washington PNG. What this does is it gives me some images that are more likely to have transparent backgrounds, which I'll show you in a minute here what that can do. This one, okay, this one actually does not. The way you can tell is, we'll try this one here. Uh, see that checkered background there? That means that is transparent, and it gives kind of a nice dynamic look, uh, or just kind of a cool look to your, your poster. So I'm going to paste that in by hitting, I copied it. And then I paste by hitting Command V. And then I can put maybe a little section down here about George Washington. Uh, maybe I want the, um, the shot heard around the world. All right, here's a good picture of that. Copy image and paste it in. Okay, now the thing is you want your poster to be... Um, you want to zoom in here and work a little closer probably, but you don't want to make it um, so zoomed in that you're going to have trouble reading it once you print it out. Or if you were to project it for your class, uh, this one slide, you want them to be able to read read it pretty well. Uh, viewers who, who are, uh, when you've printed it out, you want them to be able to read it from a distance, not have to get way close. Um, but if we wanted to uh, put some information here about the shot heard around the world, we could do that uh, by inserting a text box here. And then maybe we want just a couple sentence description here. Um, and now, one key thing here is zooming in. So if I hit this little magnifying glass here, I can zoom in closer. There we go. And now I'm going to, I think I already had a text box there. Oh, there it is. Maybe that's a new one I started now. That's okay. So we'll just type a little description in here. Okay, and the shot. heard around the world. And we'll make that bold. We'll make the font a little bigger. And we'll center it. And then I can have further description down here. Blah, blah. There we go. And maybe the dates. 
And then if I want to zoom back out to go to a different part, I, I could just scroll over using these right here. But if I want to zoom out, sometimes that makes it easy. I click back on the magnifying glass. And this time I hold down Control when I'm clicking. And that will zoom back out. If you want to uh, insert um, a background image, I can show you how to do that here. US flag. And we'll take something like this right here. I like that. Copy image. We will uh, use the selection instead of the magnifying glass. Paste it. And now, let me zoom out. Control, click, click. And now I'm going to make it really big. And we're going to send it to back. Order. Send to back. And now, going to image options. I'm going to increase the transparency a lot. And you can see what that does is it makes it so that my, um, my flag is not so distracting and it will be much easier on the printer. So that's just something you can do to get a nice background image. Uh, you just want to click on the image and increase the transparency um, if it's a dark image. Another couple features uh, I'll just quickly mention. Uh, I like to often insert shapes. So you can do an arrow. You know, we want to show that this event led to this other event. We can insert an arrow there. Um, and you can kind of mess around with those, find, finding shapes that will be useful. Um, and you could even do little, uh, you can draw your own shapes using the polyline tool. So if you want to do a, like a more square arrow that's pointing down and they didn't have one, I think they do have one, but let's just say hypothetically, we could do something like this, the polyline tool. And there we go, there's my arrow pointing down. So yeah, here's one more feature. Uh, you can always rotate text too if you feel like you want to rotate things and create a little more variation. Um, just click on that and then click the little circle to rotate. So anyway, these are some of the basics of how to create a digital poster in Google Slides. If you have any questions, let me know or ask your teacher. Thanks very much.